Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So glad to have you guys here, even if it is for a few short minutes. Uh, here it is. It is officially winter time. We got negative six degree weather outside. And what better to do than to make a video? So that's what we're here to do this afternoon. So, uh, like I said, I had a bunch of cool things come in that I wanted to share with you guys. And today, I'm going to share with you something I thought was relatively neat. Now, uh, I've heard of this brand before, but it was being pushed to me uh, very hard uh, on my Scentbird app. They really wanted to push this little package they had going on. But uh, instead, I actually went on their website and found something a little better. So that's what we're going to take a look at. But before I show you guys this product, I want to just throw this out there. If you're new here to the channel, consider subscribing. There is content on this channel for everyone. And uh, if you find something that you like, you know, give it a thumbs up. And especially this video. If you like this video, hey, give it a thumbs up. I'd very much appreciate it. All right, let's get back into it. So uh, this little package right here, if you can tell, it's got a little sticker on it. Confessions of a Rebel. Uh, now this one has been uh, talked about just a little bit online. I, I don't really see as much on it as I thought I would. Uh, however, from what I have heard, I've heard these fragrances are relatively decent. So this is a like a a discovery kit or a sample kit, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so that's what we're going to take a look at today. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to reach in there. We're going to pull one out. We're going to take a look at it. Let me open the package. So you got to bear with me on this one because we're going to be taking a look at... Uh, I think it's nine, nine uh, sample fragrances. So uh, I'll do my best to uh, kind of describe what each one kind of smells like and uh, if it's worth it or not. This uh, this bag, however, can suck a wiener because uh, it is not opening like I thought it would. So time for the big guns. There we go. Open it with some skizzers. Wow. Okay, so uh, I think it's just you know important to kind of share with you what we have here. So this is like a little mesh baggie that they got all these samples in. And like I said, I'm pretty sure there's nine of them. We're going to open them up. We're going to take a look at it and, uh, and see which one we enjoy the most. So the first one that I pulled out is called Well Played. Uh, you know, these are little simple fold cards that they uh, you open it up and uh, look, it even says well played on the opposite side. Very, very strange. But uh, yeah, little folding cards kind of gives you all the information that you need to know. Got ingredients on, on the back of them uh, and a little, you know, little slot to hold the uh, sample. So on this one it says, not unlike your smooth, confident energy, fresh lavender and bergamot open this scent on a vibrant note. While rich elements like incense, tonka bean, and cocoa seed add character and warmth. Similar to your witty retort that left the room laughing. The result, a self-assured scent that moves through life as smoothly as you do. So, um, nine... Nine fragrances. I need something to like spray because I'm 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 gonna be covered in this junk if I if I if I try to spray uh, myself. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spray the uh, cards. That piss on it, right? I'm gonna spray the cards. And uh, once again, it got little glass vials. Uh, it even says you know which uh, which fragrance we're taking a look at here. Uh, Confessions of a Rebel. Little glass vials. Pretty cool. But uh, they they're really hard to to uh, to kind of spray with these little bitty vials. That is a very fantastic fragrance. Very dark, uh, super, super rich and sweet. That lavender really uh, kind of shines through. Uh, the bergamot plays a big role in it too. Very good though. That is one that I would absolutely love to have in my collection. Uh, that is a 9 out of 10 on Well Played. I love that. Love that, love that, love that. Mm. Mm -mm. <sighs> Moving on to the next one. 
Uh, this one is called Bite Me. You know, once again, same exact kind of card carrier. Uh, I like how they they kind of just reverse the wording, but uh, add in a little color. This one says, uh, you're never one to bite your tongue, but are always one to bite back. Sweet strawberry flirts with red apple while vanilla or orchid and jasmine turn up the heat. Just before people assume you're too sweet, a shot of golden rum checks them immediately with a sassy, ever so timely comeback. So yeah. Bite me. Uh, and uh, here is the card if you're interested in those ingredients. <sighs> Ooh. This is an even sweeter fragrance than the one before. Uh, ooh. I, I, the strawberry does. Uh, it's very prominent. But I love how it says, like, it flirts with red apple and vanilla. Because those, all of those fragrances are there, but they are somehow mashed together to make some kind of, uh, like, a, like, a little bit of a, uh, a masculine fragrance. Which doesn't happen too often, but that strawberry is, uh, is amazing. I love that. This is another one that I would like to have in my collection. My question is, though, I, I, I want to know how long these actually last. Because, uh, once again, you know, I'm just spraying it on the cards because I don't want to smell like a Macy's. So, uh, yeah. But it smells so good. So my question is, I want to know what these would actually smell like after they dry. How long do they last? All that good stuff. Because I, I can already assume that most of them have a very amazing scent. So... Uh, no question about that, but uh, I give Bite Me here 8.5 out of 10. A little bit different than what I'm used to, but still, for, for what it is, it's a very fantastic fragrance. Moving on, we have... Uh, what's up next here? Uh, morning After, just like the pill. Um, very, <laughs> very wild. Uh, on the back here, got the ingredients, just like uh, all the rest of them. Confessions of a Rebel. <sighs> this one's blue. Feels as good as the night before. Decadent and hot. Vibrant Italian lemon and herbaceous notes bring on a jolt of energy. While lavender, patchouli, and tonka bean take the edge off the lingering haziness. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> they really know how to sell you their fragrances. That's what... <laughs> oh, pretty cool. Uh, once again, uh, morning after, right there on the vial. <sighs> okay, I might have spritzed a little too much on this card. Uh, but so far, the fragrance isn't that bad. I do like it. But it is it is a whole lot more different than like I said, I, I'm, I'm this is not one that I'm used to, so uh, I just gotta take it ever so slightly and uh, just just kind of go with the flow. Now this one, ooh, I don't really smell the lemon. I can kind of smell the lavender and maybe possibly the patchouli. I'm not really picking up on the tonka bean. Or, you know, like I said, I don't really smell that vibrant Italian lemon. Still not bad. It's not bad. Uh, this is one that I may or may not pick up. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go out of my way to get this one. But I could see how it could easily become someone's favorite. It's unique. And uh, refreshing. Just not uh, particularly something that, uh, you know, I want. Everybody has personal preferences, and this one just doesn't do it for me like I thought it would. Oh well, morning after. I'm not a morning after kind of guy. So, uh, moving on, I'll give this a 7 out of 10. Not bad, not necessarily something that I care about. So, uh, yeah. Up next, 
Up next. Let's be real. We are looking at let's be real. Once again, got the ingredients list right there. This one is a silver letter on the on the inside. <sighs> because it's all about you, authentic and in your face, with endless plush vibes and a big bold floral heart, the abundance of jasmine, to, uh, tuberose, and tonka bean command attention, while vanilla and cashmere woods keep the blend grounded. See, that is a. Um, those blends right there are just uh, wicked. Those are, uh, mm, I don't know. I feel like that's a lot kind of packed into one, one uh, scent, but uh, who the hell am I? Hmm. I can pick up a little bit more on the tonka bean and vanilla on this one. Everything else is just kind of lost. The uh, jasmine, nowhere to be found. Uh, I can kind of get the floral uh, take on this, so, you know, that's something. Very wild fragrance. This one is, uh, is for, like, someone who is trying to be noticed something that you know you want something that is just different well i mean let's be real this is it i like it though i do like it smells really good i could see myself wearing that i'll give that an eight and a half out of ten pretty cool all right up next, we have Fuck Mondays. On the inside, you can see it says Fuck Mondays uh, in yellow, but backwards. All right. Lively citrus notes provide the energetic jolt you need to crush the day, while fruity elements like peach skin and apple take the edge off the, off the intensity. Clary sage and sandalwood mingle for uh, a mood boost while comforting notes like suede and, and skin musk keep the scent and you grounded. Um, that's such a wild mixture, but uh, hopefully it isn't too crazy. Uh, but with a name like Fuck Mondays, I can only imagine that this is going to be like in your face type of uh, scent. It is very powerful, I will say that. That citrus is definitely there. Um, I can kind of get the, the peach that they're talking about. Everything else is just like way too far in the background to even smell. Uh, no sight of sandalwood or anything like that. Definitely no skin musk. Yep, peach and citrus, that's pretty much it. Very fruity. Now, this is one that uh, I'm not too keen on those uh, fruity type of fragrances, so this one is not for me, and I will not be picking that up, most definitely. However, uh, the fragrance itself isn't bad, uh, and it is... Uh, I've smelled similar ones, I'm not going to say it's entirely different, however... It is a refreshing take on a citrus peach kind of uh, cologne. But uh, I'm not mad at it. Just don't want it. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Alrighty then. Up next we have... Bitch Please. Yep. Bitch Please. There is the ingredients list on this one. What color do you think it is on the inside? 
Bitch, please, is red. In your face, fruit notes like black currant mingle with jasmine petals, weaving a decadent web tinged with an element of sass, bold, brash, and unafraid to bear it all. Creamy sandalwood and skin musk evoke a carefree, confident kind of vibe. You know exactly who you are, and you are, in fact, the fucking boss. Okay. All right. I've never heard sandalwood be referred to as creamy, so that is a first. Creamy. You got that creamy wood on you? <laughs> Let me get a little bit, a little bit more of a spritz on here. Hmm. This one, this one is a little bit more calmer than the last. I don't feel like it's as strong as the as the Fuck Mondays. Uh, however, I do feel like they kind of are going towards like the same style of fragrance, just different notes. Um, it's a little bit more of a darker fragrance. Definitely, definitely uh, have those sweet notes from all the fruit. Once again, not really any kind of sandalwood, uh, mostly fruit fragrance. Uh, I'm also going to give this a 6 out of 10, just because it, it, it kind of reminds me of the one before, the Fuck Mondays. It, it's, it's still uh, on, the long, on the lines of like a, like a fruit cologne, and I just don't really, I, I just don't really care for it. I mean, it's, it's definitely... A, a good fragrance. I don't want you to misinterpret it, me, because uh, it's very good. I just don't enjoy that particular fragrance. I have very specific preferences when it comes to fragrances, and and you know, bitch, please is not in it. So no harm, no foul, though. This is exactly why they let you uh, get these uh, uh, fragrance flights, as they refer to them as. All right. Almost single, just like me. Just kidding. But uh, almost single is the name of it. There is the ingredients list right here, if you're interested at all. Most of you probably aren't. This one uh, has an orange lettering on the inside backwards, but it's there. You're living every day like it's your last, and why not? There's a spicy recklessness to this fragrance, fueled by cardamom and black pepper. It's all hard and kind of hazy, as rosemary and violet leaf rise to the surface, followed by smooth balm and sandalwood. Okay, all right, all right. Um, then this, the, these, these descriptions are, are awesome. I, I'll say that. They are wicked. Almost single. Now this one I feel like I'm going to enjoy a whole lot more than the previous two. I like a, I like a, sometimes I do kind of enjoy a black pepper fragrance. But uh, I, those very dark spicy notes are, are very warm and I just love that. And I was correct. Uh, it smells pretty much exactly how I thought it would. Maybe even a little better. But it also does kind of have a little bit of a sweetness smell to it. I thought it would have been a, you know, a little bit more um, lighter. But uh, it does have a little bit of a sweet vibe going on. <sighs> smells absolutely divine though. I mean it is just nice. All those uh hmm. I do get the black the black pepper and the cardamom is there. Rosemary kind of peeks in towards the tail end. 
but it smells great. The sandalwood, once again, is missing, and uh, which sucks because I'm a sucker for sandalwood or cedarwood fragrance. Those are uh, some of my all-time favorites, so uh, a little disappointed in that, but all in all, this fragrance in general is great. Uh, this That is an awesome, awesome fragrance. Up next, we have, I think we have uh, two more to look at before we are finished. So this is Love High, Confessions of a Rebel, of course. There is the ingredients list right here. Oh, this one's pink. This one's a pink color. I like pink. Somewhere between lust and lost, peach nectar tangles with orange flower and jasmine in this uh, tantalizing fragrance. Shaken up and just a little bit sweet, succulent apple reveals new textures and sensuality against powerful blonde woods. Everything goes, but first, dive right in. That, uh, this is a fragrance that I'm not going to enjoy. And I can already tell just by the description of it. I, I could be wrong, uh, but, you know, once again, we're getting into the fruit kind of fragrances. And uh, as well as they've been pulling them off, they're good, just not my cup of tea. So, we're going to figure it out, though, aren't we? Could be, could be my all-time favorite. Can't rule nothing out. Crap. Uh, orange flower, huh? It does kind of have a citrusy kind of smell to it. Uh, this one smells definitely like flowers. And believe it or not, this one does kind of have a, uh, a like a little bit of a hint of a woody type of smell. Uh, not blonde woods, but uh, it does kind of have a like a slight wood kind of smell to it there uh, towards the end. But I do, uh, this one smells like flowers and uh, fruit. That's pretty much it. Uh, this one, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Uh, not, not the worst. But once again, just ah, not really big into that. And it smells worse than the, uh, the Fuck Mondays and uh, what was the other one? Bitch Please. So 5 out of 10, not that great for me. Anyway. Last but not least, uh, we have Get A Room. And for some reason, this one's all tangled up in the mesh bag that was provided. So we, okay, there we go, I got it down. Uh, once again, it's called Get A Room. Ingredients list right there. This one has a little bit of a lighter purple. Uh, I think the uh, one of another one had a, like a darker purple. I think. I don't know. I've already lost track. All heat and plenty of skin. This scent layers mandarin, smooth woods, liquid vanilla, clary sage oil, and a bite of forbidden apple. You don't know how it will start, but you absolutely know where it's going to end. That has a little bit of a rapey vibe to it. Uh... But I don't know. I feel like if somebody told me that, I feel like I'm just going to be waking up with my pants off. So, very strange. <laughs> anyway, Mandarin, huh? Smooth woods. What about hardwoods, you know? Ain't nothing smooth about them. Hmm. Okay. It does kind of have a a, a, a a little bit of a mm. <clears throat> this one I can pick up I feel like the first thing I smell is like the, the sage oil, the clary sage oil uh, maybe just a tiny bit of an apple maybe even some flowers Vanilla right there on the end. 
but it's also one of these types of fragrances that like some of these uh, scents would kind of be lost if they didn't kind of help you with the hints but knowing <laughs> knowing what it's supposed to smell like uh, definitely does help the mandarin though I don't really smell any mandarin I just smell like a little bit I smell like flowers uh, a little bit of a woody type of scent uh, that clary sage oil at the very front and uh, there at the end you got a little bit of a vanilla you know with some apple not bad a whole lot better than the other uh, fruity ones I'll give this one a 7 out of 10 pretty decent but uh, yeah so that's pretty much it so here it is. We looked at uh, we looked at well played, bite me, morning after, let's be real, fuck Mondays, bitch please, almost single, love high, and then finally we looked at get a room. Uh, and this is this is the conclusion here. Uh, I'm so glad that I had purchased this uh, fragrance flight, as they call it. Uh, it even gives you a little card and says such. If I can get it out. Nice. So uh, here is the card. Fragrance Flight. And uh, I actually got a, uh, I got a coupon code. So I'm not going to show you that because I want it. But these are awesome. They, they truly are. Uh, well worth whatever I paid for it. I've already forgotten. But uh, instead of spending money on a singular bottle of fragrance that I may or may not have enjoyed. I was able to get all these little testers and kind of pick and choose which one I like the most. Uh, companies that offer that are just absolutely the best. And uh, that's how you make more money, you know? Even if you have a higher end fragrance that you may or may not be selling a lot of, uh, offering samples is a great way to get some cash in, but uh, at the same time, letting uh, people have a taste of that very uh, high-end luxury fragrance but uh, this one I mean it's not necessary I wouldn't I wouldn't go as far as to say luxury however I would say this is definitely a higher quality product uh, these fragrances are, are nothing to laugh at they are great even with corny ass names I think these fragrances are are awesome but uh, yeah that pretty much does it for this video Thank you guys so much for watching. I got so much more cool shit to show you guys. So click that subscribe button. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya.